So we're going to do a car hire check demo um, where um, if you're looking for a car hire you would need um, checking the license of the person driving the car and also checking the, the registration number of the car which actually tells you if, if the car is stolen or if, if the tax is due or all sorts of um, car hire checks. So it's going to it's going to show the chaining of the of the tasks with the various uh, micro agents. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, here you can actually choose which checks you want to do. You can actually have individual checks or you can actually perform the full uh, car hire checks which I'm going to demonstrate today. So it's asking that to perform a driver check. Uh, I've said yes. And it's going to ask me for a license number. Um, so I, I will just put a license number in. So once it's verified, it will go move on to the next task. And at the very end, it will give you the results of the, the full car hire check. So if I say confirm. OK, so it's passed. Now it's moved on to doing the vehicle data check. Um, which I will uh, put the, what you call the registration plate of the car. So KM13 AKK, put that in. So it's completed the, the first check, driver check, and then now it's moved on to doing the vehicle data check. Um, and once it's performed both of them, which is in a minute, it's going to complete because it's connecting to the live API, so it's pulling the data in uh, from a different API. So it, if you see on the right hand side, it gives you the vehicle um, status and everything. It's just a bit slow running it. Wow, and that's amazing. It shows the tax, down to the tax status and it's yes. valid for 214 days. Yes, so it remaining. kind of tells yeah. you the oh, MOT the and it also yeah. tells you that it's, it's actually status is passed. Yeah. That granular, wow.